Hey, good morning, <coughs> Trig class. <coughs> Sorry about that. Wow. Um, hey, uh, a long video coming here. Um, so, so, but this is for Thursday, the thirtieth of April. Friday and Monday are sort of no school days, but you may optionally review. Tuesday until 11 o'clock, you could come on the Google Meet at 1020 and ask questions at 11 o'clock. We're going to have a test. What's the test over? It's going to be the stuff I'm going to do in this long video. There's going to be a review that will be ready um, soon, soon, and it'll be on school. All of OMG. Um, I don't want to be a bad role model. Um, if you want to know what I'm doing today at noontime, I'm taking the doors and top off my Jeep. Um, that's bad role model. You should have doors on your vehicle. So sorry about that, but that's what I'm doing. And, and then those of you that are so nice to ask, um, um, those of you who know me, my knees are truly falling apart. And finally, the doctor is going to see me today and give me injections, which are really good at lessening the pain. And then she will tell me when we will get brand new knees. So maybe the next time I see you, I'll have a brand new knee. Who knows? Maybe that's too much information, but hi, good to see you. So here you can see this. We're in unit two, and I am not doing all of the objectives on the test coming up Tuesday. I am not doing all of the objectives. I decided to make the test a little bit shorter. Um, we are slowing down a little bit with no school Friday and Monday. No new material, you've had all the material. So hang in here. Here are the objectives. Degrees to radians, degrees to radians. We take 115 degrees, we take it times pi over 180. You have to um, simplify the fractions just like you're in elementary school. And five goes into 115, five goes into 180 and it becomes 23 pi over 36. You do not give me decimal answers. That's wrong. You put the pi second. Some of you must have gone to like an online help thing, which is awesome, that said like pi 23. Don't, don't do that, okay? So no decimals, pi second. And then the bottom one here, you'll see changing 13 pi over 4 into degrees. The pi's cancel out. Then we do some reducing, and 4 goes into 180. 45 times we get 585 degrees. So there is one of your objectives right there. <clears throat> Another objective is the 45, 45, 90 triangle. Another objective is that. The sides are equal. The hypotenuse is times the square root of 2. Don't do a decimal. Cool. Again, I should have made the 45 degree here. 7 root 3, they're the same. You take it times the square root of 2. Square root of 3 times square root of 2 is 7 square root of 6. And then here, and again, I should have put in the 45. When you have the hypotenuse, you're going backwards, you divide by the square root of 2. So it is going to be 16 divided by square root of 2. That's unacceptable. So you take it times the square root of 2 over 2. And when you pause this video, you will see I took 16 divided by root 2. Take it times root 2 over 2, you get 16 root 2. That's, that's a root 2. 16 over 2 is 8. Where am I throwing them? Thirty, sixty, ninety. Short to medium, you take it times square three, square to three. Short to hypotenuse, you double it. Um, do you have some friends that are like? There's like three of you, and all of you are friends, but both of you are friends with somebody else. Here, let's do math. Person A and B are friends. Person B and C are friends. A and C are also friends, but sort of like you get along better if B's there. Maybe watch that part again 
like going really fast or really slow, it'll make sense or it won't make sense. But you always like to have the short. So short to medium, you take it times the square root of three. Short to hypotenuse, you double it. The second one, when you start with the hypotenuse, cut it in half. Now you have the short, short to medium, take it times root three. By the way, I demonstrated poor role model ship by saying I'm taking the Jeep off the door, but right now I am I am celebrating good role model ship because right now over there um, I have a text on my phone. I know texts are going old, um, but I'm not going to read it. I'm going to finish working without looking at it. Okay, maybe I just did. Medium to the short, you divide by square root of three. And now it gets a little tricky. By the way, they are mowing right side, right outside of my condo. Divide by root three. Take it as root three over root three. 10 root three over three. And then to double it, it is 20 root 3 over 3. You're saying, wow, this is a long video. It is. From the unit circle, sine of 30, you would look at your unit circle and you would see that at 30 degrees, cosine is first, sine is second. The sine would be one half. The cosine of 315 degrees. You would look at your unit circle. Cosine is first. Root 2 over 2. And the tangent of 120 degrees. And tangent can be thought of as sine over cosine. The twos go away, and you get negative root three. I have decided to do this only with degrees cotangent of 49. So all you could do is make sure you're in degrees, which I am doing now. I am doing the tangent of 49. Cotangent is the reciprocal of it. Go 1 divided by the answer. Go 1 divided by the answer. That's the cotangent. Secant has a different first letter than its related one. So do the cosine of 71. Secant is the reciprocal. Go 1 divided by. And get error. 1 divided by. And cosecant is related to sine. So do the sine of 497. Again, I chose not to do these in degrees. And so the cosecant is 1 divided by, let me say that again, I am choosing only to do these in degrees, not in radians. And there you go. And we're almost done. And coterminals. For the degrees, you just add 360s or take away 360s. There's a little question on the pies. So pi over 4, temporarily, you're going to write it as 1 pi over 4. The 2 pi, you need common denominators, so I make the 2 pi into 8 pi over 4. So that'll become 9 pi over 4. 
and on the bottom one, you need to make that into comedy denominators, <coughs> and you get 16 pi over 7. So you can think of this two different ways. You can think of it of, of um, I'm reviewing here on Thursday, and then I got two days off, or you could just sort of review a little bit Friday, Monday, um, until 11 o'clock at 10.20, you can do a Google Meet. I will have a review sheet that I am working on right now, um, working on right now, that'll be up, I, I hope, by noon today on Thursday for you to look at, today, Thursday, and if you choose, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Have a great weekend.